Hello, today is the second day of the hands-on training today. I'm Dr. Milik, nice to meet you. And now inside, Dr. Sanem is telling about cell microscopy and cell culture about stem cell applications. So uh, those cells are called actually mesenchymal stem cell. Uh, if the amount of mesenchymal stem cells are re really so high in the SVF solution, so it will be nice for a curative or for immune modulating activities. The uh, way of the stem cell application is important. For example, mostly intravenous application is best one. And then uh, intratecal. Uh, also, you can uh, use it for spinal cord injuries or other kind of injuries about the neurological disorders. And also, you can uh, inject stem cell to the intraperitoneally or also intramuscularly. As Professor said, if you um, confirm the D cells can differentiate into adipocyte, osteocyte, or chondrocyte, then you can say, yes, our cells uh, is called mesenchymal stem cell. When you're going to culture, you get SBF or bone marrow and you put the cells in there with food and all the good stuff and you put it in an incubator and you wait 24 hours to 24 to 48 hours that's called pre-culture and then you come and you put it under the microscope and you're gonna see some cells now the cells that are sticking to the bottom of the tube are adherent cells those are mesenchymal stem cells. Our patient is 47 years old woman, has both knee patellar chondromalacy, and on the right side she has meniscal degeneration. Today we will inject SVF uh, solutions inside the knees, and also on the right side we will inject inside the medial meniscus. I will show you, uh, first of all, intra-articular injection. The second option, we will inject inside the joint, not in lesion. We just inject inside the uh, joint. Uh, we will show both today. So the exosomes are communication, cell-to-cell -cell communicators, yes. And you have a double um, lipid membrane that has inside all the cargo in terms of growth factors and immunomodulatory uh, cytokines and such. You're doing cellular therapy without cells. It's really good in terms of peace of mind because you're not gonna have a reaction. A reaction is highly unlikely and uh, it's very safe. So in my name and the name of the other uh, physicians, Dr. Malik and Dr. Kilmi, uh, we want to thank you and uh, we hope that this has been fruitful for you guys. And then you go ahead and start uh, this path of regenerative medicine. So, without further ado, I'm going to start giving you the certificate. But we, will, we are expecting you again in Turkey. Thank you so much for joining this conference, making it happen. I guarantee you, myself and my people, we tried our best to make you have a good experience.